Well, the big business of power, AES Corporation, operates in 15 countries, showing signs of growth. The company announcing it's raising its dividend this week, and the stock is up 45% so far this year. Joining me right now in a Fox Business exclusive is the CEO of AES, Andre Gluski. Good to see you, sir. Thanks so much for joining us. What is driving the stock right now? Well, I, I think we've had a, a good year in terms of delivering on our uh, results on our, our forecast, but also we're growing. And uh, one of the things that's unique about our company, not only is it one of the few international U.S. energy companies, but the fact that we're really combining what I call capacity with energy. Renewables provide you with energy, but they're not here 24-7. So it's very important for consumers, for everyone, is how do you provide electricity 24 hours a day, seven days a week? So what we're doing is really combining renewables with traditional sources of energy, and also with uh, lithium-ion batteries. We're the world leader in this technology, which allows you to put more renewables on the grid, but also have a better grid. I'm glad you mentioned battery, because we've been talking about this battery growth story for a long time, and I'm wondering if it is, in fact, resonating with businesses. I mean, is that what you're seeing in terms of the acceptance? I mean, when you look at, for example, the electric car, we've been talking about the electric car for a long sure. time, and yet people are not buying it. They're buying SUVs. They're being, buying the big cars. So what's the story on battery uh, technology? Well, we started using lithium-ion batteries for energy storage on a grid scale. So this would not be something the consumer sees about 10 years ago. And so we today have more than 200 megawatts. We'll be building out to 500. We have it in 16 countries. So for us, it's a proven technology. So what you can do with the energy storage is that you can store, for example, you have a lot of solar during the middle of the day. You save it up, and then you inject it when you need it. That's huge in terms of being able yeah. to inject it when you need it. Yes, and it's And that's easy yeah. to do? Yes, I mean, that, that's what they do. It, it actually does it better than regular plants. Because say you have a gas plant that's trying to do this peaking, it has to heat up. It takes a few you know, minutes to heat up. This is instantaneous, and it's cheaper. So it's actually competing in many places. With, well, actually, it's competing without any subsidies for this. So uh, today, this, this market's growing at 100% a year. And this should be a very large market within five years. Fantastic. Earlier this year, you announced that you were teaming up with Siemens. Let's talk about that. You wanted to team up with Siemens uh, to take on Tesla, which, right. is, uh, which is important here because you're doing Tesla energy in the storage space. How's that going? Tell me about the growth story there. Sure. Well, that's going very well. Uh, this year, we will uh, uh, hit several hundred million dollars of, of sales. Uh, it's a very good combination, Siemens and us, because we've been, we really were out ahead of this curve. We were doing it again 10 years ago. We have proven uh, models. We're on our fifth design today. Um, and so Siemens has the ability to sell in 160 countries. It's a 100-year-old company with an excellent reputation. So the combination of the two of us, we're in 16 countries today, but we have the capability to deliver this in 160 countries. Wow. So that's uh, going very well, and I think we're both very happy with the JV. What, what, what is your uh, uh, reaction to what's gone on in the energy market in terms of oil prices dropping, natural gas prices right. on the rise? What's behind these moves? Well, it's very interesting. I think that the uh, you know, effects of the oil s sector on our economy and everything have changed very much. Certainly, the electric sector in the States, it has almost no effect. But natural gas had been the big story the previous decade. So we, for example, you know, have a lot of natural gas plants. We just inaugurated a, a new LNG regasification terminal in Panama, uh, which will drastically change the energy sector of that country because it was very dependent on rainfall. And now with cheap natural gas from the U.S., years of drought, energy prices won't spike. It's also very good for the U.S. because it means hundreds of millions of dollars of annual exports of U.S. LNG. Mm. Okay, so then that story is becoming increasingly important. Yes, absolutely. It sure is. Andre, it's great to have you on the program. Thank you very much, Thank Maria. you so much for joining us. And I know Thank that we, we met first 22 years ago. That's right, when I was doing an IPO. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. been a great story. Congrats. I, I, so I interviewed you 22 years ago when you first went public. That's right. There you go. Oh, Andre, it's great to see you. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank Andre Gluski joining us there, AES Corporation.